is relying on the slot receiver more than ever over the last few years. Since the start of the 2016 season, 31 of his touchdown passes have been thrown to a player who lined up in the slot, by far the most for any pre-snap position. And that trend has continued this postseason. Four of his five touchdown passes have gone to a slot receiver. The whole crew is back with us. Not trying to give too much love to the guy that wasn't you, but why is it so important to this offense? Oh, just looking at that, that piece right there, I'm going to tell all you executives what. Y'all better not draft no slot receiver, but one thing, about a, <laughs> one thing about a slot receiver that a lot of people don't really understand, the reason why he's in the slot, because it's difficult for him to be on the outside to make a lot of plays. <laughs> That's why you're in the slot. But for me and Wes, what we did, we were able to work off one another. Whenever I'm double, I need Wes Welker to get open and vice versa. Wes Welker, when he was double, he needed me to, to get open. But now when you look at the New England Patriots, uh, Patriots wide receiver core, it used to be Edelman and Gronkowski. Edelman went down, so next thing you know is Amendola and Gronkowski. Here, you can see this right here. The running back moving to the left. Watch the cornerback here. He sucks up. Two guys on Gronkowski. He's double. Tom Brady will always find the uh, single cover receiver right here. But for, for me, if uh, Wes Welker is double, then that means I have to be able to get open. Right here in the Super Bowl, you can see he was double. Next thing you know, I get the single coverage. I just said Tom Brady will find the single wide receiver. So for me tonight, looking at this game, Gronkowski is going to get a lot of attention, guys. But it's the supporting cast. It's the Amendolas that is going to have to come here. Right here, you see here, the guy is double. Cooks is double. Right here, Amendola should be double. But what did I say? When you are the single receiver, keep working. Tom Brady will find you. The supporting cast is going to have to show up big tonight if they want to bring this championship home. Well, another great thing that they're, they're able to do is they formation you up so that you're going against their, their nickel corner. So your nickel corner sometimes, not on every team, but sometimes he's the third best cover corner. So now you've got a quick shifty guy on their third best defender. And he's got to cover all that ground. It's a higher percentage completion throw and they're staying on the field. Man, after Randy talked about the slot receiver, I ain't giving the slots no love. <laughs> hey, you know, what, what'd you say, Russell? I'm not talking about him. <laughs> but you know what? Hey, when, when you look at it, it's interesting because most of the time you always say, well, the, the slot receiver is the number two position. So you have the number one is the outside receiver, then the slot, and then the three. Well, what the uh, Patriots do, when I was getting ready for them, they'll move that slot receiver into the three position, the inside position. This is their number one route that you better stop. Anytime there's three receivers on one side, look for this pattern specifically, and that's to run the option route with the third receiver or the slot receiver in this case, and he'll have an uh, option to go inside, outside, or vertical. And they work on this over and over again, regardless of who the guy is. But it, does it look the exact same? Well, it is the exact same route. You're gonna see it about 15 to 20 times a game when they're in a trips formation. And, and believe me, it's difficult because sometimes that number two guy might be Gronk running the seam. But when you're looking at it, it is very difficult to stop. They don't do a whole lot of things, but that is the number one route coach, that they do. Coach, when you look at those routes and you watch the outside, you know, the, the outside receiver, he's limited because he has the sideline. When you watch those option routes, you watch those, those shorter, quicker guys on the inside, they got a two-way go. We joked yesterday, we talked about being on the island. Right. But when you're in the slot and you're <laughs> one of these little quick, fast, jittery guys, that's like an ocean out there. You, know what <laughs> right. you ain't so, on that island. One of, yeah. <laughs> one, of the things, one of the things I was going to say is when you think about putting, you know, Amendola inside, he's so quick, so fast. But then you have Gronk, Gronkowski outside, too, as well, who may be one-on-one. -on -one. That's their Randy Moss. Right. You know, so he's going to be outside one-on-one. -on -one. But don't forget, I think, the, I think the game changer in this game and has been in the last playoff games for them is James White. I mean, you got to find a guy to cover him. He's another slot receiver. He plays running back, but you know, I played with him at Wisconsin. That boy can play. He's really Give like a receiver. Give me your boy some love. Hey, he's really <laughs> like a receiver. The guy's got great hands and runs every route. So 
in this game, that's probably going to be a matchup that's going to be really right. interesting to me. Well, it's well, great that you point that out because, Rex, the play that you're talking about, that's a trip set, side. Yep. meaning three receivers to one side. So backside, you have a single receiver, a Randy Moss, you know, X receiver, and that back out of the backfield. Yep. And just like you said, Russ, those backs, it really doesn't matter which back it is. I know he yeah. went to Wisconsin, but all of them are catching <laughs> exactly. the ball. Yeah. All right, right, we're not letting you get out here. I, I heard you pumping up the Patriots. We're not letting you get out of here without making a pick, Mr. Wolf. Oh, I got to make a pick? Oh, yeah. So who Man, are you I, taking I, I do like one. the Eagles. Don't get me wrong. I think the Eagles are really, really good. We but? played them all year. I think the Patriots are going to win, though. I, I, think, I think Tom's going to win. I think they'll win. Uh, my score, uh, you got to be careful with these Philly fans here. You know, <laughs> but, you know my, my score, uh, I, I think it'll be 34, 34, 31-24. Uh, uh, all four. right. 31, we'll get you some security to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very Thank much you guys. for joining Thank us. You. All right. It's all time for the end of our show and that means we need some last minute news and notes from our reporter Sal Powell at the Eagles Hotel and Josina Anderson with the Patriots. Sal, we'll start with you. What do you have for us? Hey there, Sam. Very light morning for the Philadelphia Eagles at their team hotel. Players and coaches mingling with family and friends. No team meeting. Doug Peterson talked to the team last night. He didn't want them to have any kind of meeting this morning. There was an optional team meal. At about 2.30 Eastern, all the team buses will depart together for U.S. Bank Stadium for Super Bowl 52. JoJo. Thanks, Al. Well, Patriots wide receiver Danny Amendola chose to spend extra time in Montana with Tom Brady this offseason to build better trust, timing, and chemistry between quarterback and wide receiver. So Amendola has really earned his nickname, Danny Playoff Amendola now, especially after keeping his feet down in the AFC Championship game for the game-winning touchdown. And mind you, this is a player who chose to take a pay cut for three straight years just to stay with his team. Sam?